What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about an unfinished Godzilla movie that was shot back in 1983. So to really set the stage for what we're talking about here, imagine if one of the producers of Jurassic Park decided to link up with Stan Winston Studios and make a Jurassic Park movie in between JP3 and Jurassic World. Universal wouldn't be involved, but several of their employees were, and the movie would get locked away after having actually undergone some principal photography. Now, would you like to see what kind of movie they made? If so, this project might just be interesting to you. Wolfman vs. Godzilla is an unfinished 1983 monster movie from a lot of people that used to work for Toho. The project was spearheaded by Shizuo Nakajima, the production assistant that worked on Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla and Terror of Mechagodzilla. He directed the movie with the help of several former employees from the company and the suits that were actually made for the film happened to come from Fuyuki Shinada who would later go on to design the monsters in GMK. Initially, the project started out as a simple short film in the 1970s before growing into the unreleased project that we know of today, which has sparked a lot of curiosity and interest from Godzilla fans for a very long time. The plot would have consisted of a werewolf that shows up in Japan, but quickly grows into Godzilla size in order to fight. Wikizilla says it was irradiated for something like that. That's crazy, man. Two suit designs were used for Godzilla himself, the first of which looked the way the monster does in Mothra vs. Godzilla, while the majority of the footage retains the look he had in King Kong vs. Godzilla. Recently, a lot of footage just showed up literally this year, and while it's obviously incomplete, you gotta admit that just the fact that something like this exists at all is pretty cool. Remember, this was a fan project from people that actually worked on the official Godzilla movies, and it was something that actually predates the newer Heisei Godzilla continuity that would kick off the following year in 1984. Now, according to the director, the small bits of film that have been released to the public are only a fraction of the material made, with around 10 hours of footage being shot, believe it or not. Extensive stills of behind-the-scenes material showcasing the actor in the makeup chair before transforming into a werewolf are coupled with the fight itself, and I gotta say, man, this is one seriously interesting project. <laughs> It's shown up as a subject at G-Fest every once in a while. The notoriety of Toho employees working on it is great. Look, even Nicolas Cage is excited to see it. This is kind of wild. Unfortunately, we don't really know when the movie will ever officially come out. And as of right now, it's kind of this lost Godzilla film that sits in something of an official capacity, even if it was never an official part of the Showa series or Toho slate for production. I mean, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you got Stan Winston's Creature Shop to go out and film a Jurassic Park movie with some of the production assistants that worked on Lost World or JP3 alongside a whole group of other Universal people, you'd want to see what kind of movie they put together, right? And with this whole thing being based around a werewolf, it looks like it was going back to that more monstrous side of the franchise and something that I think sounds pretty fun. There is talk about putting together a future DVD release, but we're going to just have to wait and see if that ever happens someday. Anyways, guys, these are all just my own thoughts on the subject matter. What do you think of Wolfman vs. Godzilla? the unfinished 1983 uh, fan film that has 10 hours of footage from actual Toho staff getting made a long time ago and never coming out. What do you think about this subject matter? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear all about them in the comments down below.